I'm Cecil with Hot Sun USA, and today I'm going to show, run you through some of the new changes to our product lineup. We'll go ahead and start off with the good old Flash Pup Synthetic here. Um, the Flash Pup Synthetic, new for last year, but we really didn't bring, mention much about it. We added a side lever instead of a bolt to it. So it makes it a little bit easier to charge when you've got it in the shoulder. You just reach back rather than having to work a bolt. So um, that's really the only change to this version. On our Flash Pup wood, we did added the side lever cocking on it also, which is really nice. But also what we did is we're using an AR style pistol grip on the wood stock. So you can swap this out for whichever AR commercial spec pistol grip you want. You can go ahead and swap that out and uh, customize the gun a little bit more to your shooting style or whatever type of competition you want to shoot. And then we have our Hydra multi-caliber rifle. So you just swap out the upper here and you can change it from 177, 22 to 25. That hasn't changed. But what has changed is we're adding a synthetic stock version this year. So you can get a Hydra for around MSRP of 440 and with a synthetic stock. A lot of people like this and I like this synthetic for out for a hunting gun. You can bang it around, get vines and branches caught on it and you're not worried about scratching up your really nice Turkish walnut wood stock. Okay, so also this year for 2023, we're adding our Blitz High Capacity Magazine. So this is what we're, is you can be used in any of the guns that use a swing load style magazine like the Blitz, and it doubles the amount of rounds in each magazine. So as in this is a 30 cal, you can have 33 rounds. So actually you get a bonus, one bonus round. The typical swing load magazine is 16 rounds and 30 caliber. This one has 33. So with the Blitz, you can empty this 33 round magazine in one second. Coming to our standard rifles that are new for this year, we've got the Zada. This is gonna be your entry level $119 MSRP price point brake barrel. Um, it's very similar to our current AirTac, but we redesigned the stock to uh, give it a pistol grip. We cut almost a pound off of the weight, and it just gives you a more tactile, tactical look. Um, it's, it's very easy to shoot, um, extremely accurate, and for that you know, entry-level price point, it's a great gun. Um, moving on down, we're getting a little bit more power. We took our Factor RC and we said we want more power. We want to put a 30 and 35 caliber. So what we did is we made a bullpup version of the Factor RC so we can fit this 32 inch barrel on here. And we're getting almost 150 foot pounds of energy in 35, 30 and 35 caliber. You still have the adjustable hammer preload. You still have the adjust, externally adjustable regulator and the dual gauges for your regulated and your fill pressure. You have the uh, hot swappable bottle. So it's got a valve in the bottle, 580 cc carbon fiber bottle, fills to 250 bar, and you can just unscrew it and swap a charged bottle on it. So carry an extra one in your backpack when you're out hunting. Um, this is a great medium sized game gun. Um, and uh, it, it does gr excellent out at long range. Moving on down, we have our pile driver. And you've seen our pile driver before, um, but this one's a little different. This one here is 62 caliber. This is a 650 grain hollow point. Um, it also, we also have a 700 grain solid for this gun. You're putting out between seven and 800 foot pounds of energy. And this one here does excellent. Um, we've taken several white tailed deer with it and it was just a one and done situation. And then lastly, on this wall, we have our Neutron Star. This is a great gun, um, really enjoy it, uh, very accurate, 250 bar fill, 177, 22 or 25, but we added a synthetic stock to it this year, so it makes it a better field gun, and you're not worried about getting the your Turkish walnut wet, you're not worried about scarring it up out in the woods or whatever. So um, 
we just uh, added a synthetic stock option to this one for this year. With the Blitz, if you're using the standard swing load magazines, you know, when you fire a magazine in a half a second, you gotta reload them quite often. So, we came out with our speed loader. This allows you to fill four magazines worth of pellets in the speed loader, carry this with you. You just wind your magazine, set this down on it, twist it, it'll drop a full magazine down into the magazine. You've got four magazines, one click is one magazine, and all you have to do when you're loading it up is just dump your pellets there in here, shake it, and they'll fall down. You may have one or two that you gotta flip over, but for the most part, they'll all just fall head down right in there. Click it, dump another one, click it, dump another one, and then you can fill four magazines super fast. Also new for 2023, um, we actually launched them uh, in December of last year, but we have the Jet One, one, one for single cylinder, or the Jet 2. You got two cylinders, 40 cc's per cylinder, so a total of 80 on the Jet 2. Um, they're available in 177, 22, and 25 caliber. Um, you can either shoot, fire it in the pistol configuration, or you can put the buttstock on there, it just clips on there, and uh, you can use, use it as a carbine. You have um, vertical adjustment on the cheek piece there, your cheek riser, and you have horizontal adjustment for your length of pull. Flip up sights, open sights. You have a rear sight for the pistol configuration and a front sight for the carbine configuration. And just in case you can't remember which is which, there's a picture on the side here that tells you which side is for which configuration. You uh, have a safety right here trigger block safety. You can keep your finger out of the trigger guard to turn it on and off, which is a nice feature. And side lever cocking. You have an 11 millimeter dovetail on the top to put an optic on it. If you want to put a red dot, a scope, whatever have you, you can just put that on right there or use the open sights and you're good to go. And uh, you have uh, elevation adjustment on the rear sight and you can adjust the front sight for windage. You can also purchase separate colored cylinders for your jet uh, pistol, carbine pistol. Um, you can get the double tube or you can get a single tube. And if you have a jet one, you can purchase the jet two colored cylinder, which will be available in black, green, red, or blue. Um, and you can change your Jet 1 into a Jet 2 just by loosening, removing two screws and loosening up two set screws, swap out your valve, and then put the screws back in, and you've got a Jet 2. The nice thing, feature of the Jet 1 that's not available on the Jet 2 is you can hot swap the cylinders on the Jet 1. You can unscrew the cylinder, and it has a valve inside the cylinder that seals up when you loosen it up and you can just switch out with a charged cylinder. Um, unfortunately on the Jet 2 with the nature of having two cylinders there's no way to put a valve in it so you can only swap out your cylinders when they're um, uh, discharged or bled and the Jet 2 has a bleed screw right here on the bottom to bleed the pressure um, so you can conveniently bleed the pressure, swap out for your colored tubes if you want, and then using the Foster Quick Connect on the end here, just fill up your gun. The nice thing about these is they're extremely hand pump friendly, so they're great for plinking, um, 10 meter competition. You can actually sit there and shoot 10 meter pistol and 10 meter rifle with the same gun. Hi, this is Travis from JTS Air Rifles, and uh, we got some new products for 2023. New on our um, Aracuda line is the Aracuda Max 30 cal. We had previously the 22 and the 25, and now we're offering this big bore 30. It's also in the carbine, so it's nice and short and compact, but uh, I'm shooting at 44.75 GSB in the mid-8s, so it's got a lot of takedown power for such a small rifle. 
two-stage adjustable trigger, all wood stock, adjustable cheek rest, regulated. So you got your regulated set pressure here for your plenum, and then you got your fill pressure here. It feels from a foster fitting, which everybody loves, nobody likes probes. <laughs> so here's your foster. And at the top, we also got a half 20 UNF. So you can put your favorite silencer, LDC, whatever you want to call it on there. Uh, so this is uh, one of our new products here at uh, JTS Air Rifles. So here's our brawn. This is gonna come in 22, 25, and possibly 30. We'll see when we get there. Um, so this is a, a brand new product for us at uh, JTS. Um, it's based off of the Max, so it's regulated. So there's your fill pressure there. There's your set pressure there for your, regu for your regulator and your plenum. Same thing with the two-stage adjustable trigger. Nice cheek, cheek rest there, side lever action. Super compact. So if you're one of those people that like to walk around in the woods and be, you know, real high and tight, this, this is a real good gun for walking around. Um, basically has all the same features as the Aracuda Max did, same barrel length, same uh, volume. Um, so this is a really nice little compact gun, sub $500 gun with all those features. Uh, every, and also with all of our JTS uh, air rifles, um, all of our PCPs, we don't use any plastics at all, nowhere. Not in the magazines, not in the construction, not in the trigger, nowhere. It's all wood, all metal, all alloy. So this year, and we're really super excited about this, we're gonna have a full line of air rifle pellets. Right now we're offering the 22 and 25 in the Diablo style. So these are our Diablo pellets, and they'll come in a blister pack like this, or in a big case. Um, we've been doing a lot of testing with these, and these are as good as anything on the market, but quite a bit cheaper. So because we build everything ourselves, we have our own factories, and now our own pellet making machines that are high, really high quality, um, we could you know, build our own stuff and sell it below everyone else. Right now we're offering the 22 and the 25, but we will have over 30 different air rifle pellets by the end of the year. So we'll have a full line. Right now we offer the Diablo, but in the near future we're going to have flathead, wad cutters, um, and then next year a full line of slugs as well. And um, we've got a brand new air compressor here. This was uh, designed in the U.S. by myself and a few other engineers. So basically, it'll run off 110 or 12 volt. The inverter now is built on the inside of the machine, so we don't have to carry anything else around. So the whole unit is all in one box now. We have your 12 volt leads there, so you can run off a power of a battery, a car battery. We got 110, it does come with a pigtail for this. And it's easy to switch from 12 volt to 110, just like that. And you don't have to worry about it um, switching it on accident from 110 to 12 volt, because there's uh, preventage in there to keep uh, something bad from happening if that, if that was to happen on accident. It is auto set on the top if we look here. We have a dial, so you can set your pressure where you want it to go off at. This can pump all the way up to 4,500 PSI. So those real high pressure guns, you can fill it with this. Standard fill whip, standard foster fitting. Now if we go to the back of this unit, this is where the real cool technical stuff is. Here's your inlet fan, here's your outlet fan. And on the top, there's also an inlet fan to cool the cylinder head. But right here is the one feature, our compressor has it. No other in the world has. It's a thermal discharge system, something I designed for JTS. Um, this fan blows into the case, into the internal side of the case, and then the piston and the fan pumping action pumps the hot air out this exhaust pipe. So guns, like uh, with the big tanks now, we're starting to see tanks in excess of 500 cc's. So instead of have to start and stop your compressor every 10 minutes to let it cool down, 
We can run it all the way up to 1,000 cc's without stopping at all, one run. This unit, we're trying to keep the price down there with all the other ones. Map pricing is $499, so it's a sub $500 compressor with all of these features. The 110 to 12 volt with inverter built in, auto stop, and the thermal discharge system, all in one unit. Another one of our great features is our full line of air rifle scopes. And they come in a variety of power and features. Um, so we got 2 to 12, 3 to 12, 3 to 18, 4 to 14, 6 to 24, and then to reach way out there, 5 to 30. The prices vary from left to right. This being entry, this being our very, very highest end model. There, we have both first and second focal point scopes, low parallax, huge turret knobs with very tight clicking on our high end scopes, illuminated, a lot of them are illuminated, um, big wheels, really nice glass. The glass is uh, very exceptional. So, this is my personal favorite scope out of our, our new scope line. It's a 5 to 30 by 56 with a 34 millimeter tube. So that's going to let in a ton of light. So you can use this in very low light conditions. It has the power to look way out there for the long range hunters. Huge turret knobs with very small clicks. One tenth MRAD. Side well parallax adjustment lit reticle, first focal plane, and it has a tree style um, reticle. If you're looking for something to get way out there, to reach way out there with, this new JTS 5 to 30 by 56 is it. We got two new air rifles here for JTS. This is our Strife, it's a 177. This is a brake barrel gun. It has some really cool features. You got a mag that drops out that holds pellets so you don't have to have them in your pocket rattling around. Adjustable buttstock, flip up sights that are adjustable for windage and elevation. But one of the coolest features is the recoil dampening. Can you see that? So you don't get all of that kickback. It's all absorbed in the chassis. This is the Neo. This is our, one of our high-end brake barrel guns. Once again, adjustable buttstock, auto safety that resets when you cock it, adjustable sights. This is also in 177. Um, and, and this gun here will shoot a pellet in excess of 1,000 feet per second. It's pretty, it's pretty powerful.